Hola! Hello there, welcome to our Spanish lesson today. You'll need some equipment to help you with your learning today. Firstly, some paper to write on and a pen or a pencil to write with. So if you don't have those in front of you, just pause the video, pop and get them, and then press play when you're ready to continue. Today we're going to be making sure that we can say and understand the 15 foods and drinks that we've been working on and then also recap saying what somebody else wants to eat or drink and saying that somebody else is hungry or thirsty and then we're going to be starting to find out how to say that we like or don't like these foods and drinks and something that we need for that is a thing called the definite article and we're going to be working out the definite articles for all the foods and drinks that we know. First of all, let's have a practice of our 15 foods and drinks. Por favor, escuchad y repetid. Queso. Queso. Jamón. Jamón. Zumo. Zumo. Pizza. Pizza. Leche, leche, limonada, limonada, chocolate, chocolate, helado, helado, sopa, sopa, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, yogur, yogur, pescado, pescado, pollo, pollo, perro, perro, pan, pan. Let's just have another go at that bottom line because they're the ones that we know least well. Yogur. Yogur. Pescado. Pescado. Pollo. Pollo. Perro. Perro. Pan. Pan. Let's have a go at all of them again. Escuchad y repetid. Queso. Jamón. Zumo. Pizza. Leche. Limonada. Chocolate. Helado. Sopa. Coca-Cola, yogur, pescado, odio, perro, pan. Well done. Let's have a recap of people saying that they are hungry and thirsty and they want to eat or drink something and asking somebody else the question and what we say about them as well. So first of all, we have a question. Nuria, ¿tienes hambre? Sí, tengo hambre. Quiero comer pizza. So remember, tengo hambre is I am hungry or I have hunger. Quiero comer pizza, I want to eat pizza. And we know that this is talking about I because we have O on the end of tengo and quiero. Then the other girl is asking the question. So instead of tengo, I have, she has to say, tienes, do you have, do you have hunger? Then if we're talking about Nuria, we would say, Nuria tiene hambre. Quiere comer pizza. Nuria is hungry or has hunger. She wants to eat pizza. So we have to change our verbs again to tiene for she has and quiere 
for she wants. Let's look at another one. Diego, ¿tienes sed? Sí, tengo sed. Quiero beber limonada. Now, again, the O on the end of these two says that it is I. Yes, I have thirst. I am thirsty. Tengo sed. Quiero beber limonada. I want to drink lemonade. Now, when you're asking Diego the question, you can't use tengo because that's I have. You need to change it to tienes. Tienes sed. Do you have thirst or are you thirsty? And if we're talking about Diego, then we would say Diego tiene sed, quiere beber limonada. We have to change our two verbs. Diego tiene sed, he has thirst. Quiere beber limonada, he wants to drink lemonade. Right then, let's have a look at some of those phrases in a bit more detail. Now, on your piece of paper, split it into two and put food at the top of one of the columns and drink at the top of one of the other columns. Just pause the video while you do that and then press play when you're ready to continue. Now here we have eight different sentences. Some of them are to do with being hungry and wanting food. Some of them are being to do with being thirsty and wanting something to drink. What I want you to do is to sort them into the ones to do with food and hungry and the ones to do with drink and thirsty and write them into your columns. So press pause, have a go at that and press play when you're ready to check the answers. Right then, let's have a look and see which sentences go where, which ones are something to do with food and which are something to do with drink. So the top one on the pile here says, quiere beber leche. Quiere beber leche. That's to do with drink, isn't it? Quiere beber leche. The next one says, quiero comer jamón. Quiero comer jamón. Jamón, that's food, isn't it? Something to do with food. And the next one says, quieres beber zumo? Quieres beber zumo? Well, zumo is juice. That's another one to do with drink, isn't it? The next one says, Tiene hambre. Tiene hambre. Well, hambre is hunger. So that's going to be another one for the food pile. And the next one says, tengo sed. Tengo sed. Well, sed is thirst. So that's one for the drink pile there. And number three says, tienes sed. There's another one with sed. So that's going to go into drink as well. The next one says, quiere comer pizza. Quiere comer pizza. That's going to go in food, isn't it? And then the last one, tengo hambre. Well, we know that hambre is hunger, so that's going to go into food. So we can see, can't we, that we've got some matching sentences there. So we can see that comer is the verb to eat. And we know that hambre is hunger. On the other side, we know that beber is to drink and we know that sev is thirst. We're going to sort them in a different way now. So take a piece of paper again, but this time we're going to divide it into three columns. You need to put I at the top of one, you at the top of the second, and he and she at the top of the third. Pause the video while you do that and press play when you're ready to continue. So, here are the sentences again. This time, I would like you to sort them into either I or you or he and she. In other words, if it's I that says this, put it in the I column. If it's a question that you would ask to somebody else, put it in you. If it's something we would say about him or her, then put it into the he or she column. So press pause, have a go at that and press play when you're ready to check. So let's have a go then at sorting these sentences into I, you, and he and she. So the first one we've got, quiere beber leche. Quiere beber leche. So that's he and she, isn't it? He or she wants to drink milk. 
Next, we have quiero comer jamón. So our verb has o on the end, so it must be I. I want to eat ham. Number six says, ¿Quieres beber zuma? ¿Quieres beber zuma? So it's got the question marks. That's going to be you, isn't it? Do you want to drink juice? The next one says, ¿Tiene hambre? ¿Tiene hambre? So tiene is he or she, isn't it? He or she is hungry. The next one says, tengo sed. Tengo sed. It's got an o on the end, so that's going to be an I verb, isn't it? Tengo sed, I have thirst, or I am thirsty. The next one there, tienes sed? Tienes sed? Oh, it's got question marks on. We're asking a question to somebody else, aren't we? So that's a you. The next one is, quiere comer pizza? Quiere comer pizza? We've already got one a bit like that, haven't we? That's a he or she. And the last one says, tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. Well, there's an o on the end of the verb. So that one goes into I. Now, we can see our pattern here, can't we? We've got tengo, I have. Tienes, do you have? And tiene, he or she has. Also, quiero, I want. Quieres, do you want? Quiere, he or she wants. Now, let's have a look at our first opinion sentence, saying that we like something. Here's our sentence. Me gusta el jamón. First of all, the food is at the end, isn't it? What food is that? So what's our sentence about? That's right, it's about ham. And it is an opinion saying, I like. So I like ham. Me gusta el jamón. So me gusta, I like jamón, ham. But there's a very important little word in the middle here, el, which is called the definite article. It means the. So really our sentence is saying, I like the ham. We wouldn't say that in English, would we? We'd just say, I like ham. In Spanish, though, you need to put the word the before your food or your drink. Now, the words for the depend on whether the food or drink is masculine or feminine and also whether it is singular or plural. In fact, there are four different words for the in Spanish. We're just going to be looking at two of them today. So we already know that if you're talking about the words a or an or the number one as well, we need un for masculine and una for feminine. However, we don't want to say a or an, we want to say the. So we need to change these. The masculine word for the is el. The feminine one is la. And to help us to remember that la is the feminine one, look, it's got the a on the end, just like una has. So those are the two that we're going to be using. El for masculine, la for feminine. And they both mean the. So let's have a little practice of sorting our food and drink words into el and la. So think about when we saw them on the grid with the 15 foods and drinks on, which ones were blue, which ones were red. We also know, don't we, to look at the ends of the words. O is masculine, a is feminine. Let's see how we get on. First one then is queso. Is that el o la, masculine, feminine? That's right, it's masculine, isn't it? El queso. And the next one, jamón. Oh, we just had that in the example. Is that el o la? El jamón. And next we have zuma. Zuma, what do we think? Masculine or feminine? El o la? That's right, masculine, el zuma, because it's got an o on the end. And what about this one, pizza? Will that be el or la? La pizza, it's got the a on the end to help us. And how about leche? What do we think, el or la leche? That one's in red, isn't it, on our grid? So it's la leche. And what about limonada? Limonada. That's another la, isn't it? La limonada is feminine. And the next one is chocolate. Chocolate, el 
cola. That's el, el chocolate. And how about helado? Helado. El o la. That's right, that's el because it's got an o on the end. And the next one is sopa. Sopa. El o la. Yeah, a on the end, so la sopa. And what about Coca Cola? El o la. That one is la. And yogur? El o la for yogur. It's el yogur, it's a masculine one. And what about pescado? Pescado. El o la. Another el because it's got the o on the end. And how about pollo? Pollo. That's it. L again, it's got an O on the end. And berro. Berro. Masculine. El berro. And finally, we have pan. El hola. It's masculine. It's el pan. So we've got quite a lot more masculine ones than we have feminine ones, haven't we? But that's just the way it goes. When we come to looking at plural foods, a lot of them are feminine compared to masculine, just the way it is. Now, we can tell, can't we, that a lot of these are masculine because they have o on the end, and a lot of these are feminine because they have a on the end. So, for example, how would you say the cheese? The cheese. El queso. How would you say the soup? The soup. La sopa. What about the chocolate? The chocolate. El chocolate. And the pizza? La pizza. That's right. So el and la are called definite articles. They both mean the and we need to have those in front of our food and drink words if we are going to say that we either like or don't like them. So here we have the list of our 15 foods and drinks in English and they all have the word the in front of them. So what you need to do next, please, is to pause the video, copy those down and then press play when you're ready to continue. So do you have all 15 of those written down? Because what we're going to do next is to find out what those are in Spanish, but making sure that we have either the L or the La in front of them as well. So next to your English words, write the Spanish word, but make sure it has either L for the masculine ones or La for the feminine ones in front of it. So pause the video, have a go at doing that and press play again when you're ready to check them. So oh, let's check those. We have el queso, el jamón, el zumo, la pizza, la leche, la limonada, el chocolate, el helado, la sopa, la Coca-Cola, el yogur, el pescado, el pollo, el berro, and el pan. If you need to just take a bit more time to check yours, pause the video. Check those through and then press play when you're ready to continue. So well done. We've had a good practice there of our 15 foods. Practicing again, saying if somebody is hungry or thirsty and what they want to eat or drink. And most importantly, we found out about the two definite articles, L and LA, that we need to put in front of our food and drinks for when we come to say that we like or don't like them. Well done. Adios. See you next time.